with the exception of vines, which I'm trying to keep on trellises, um, and only because of that, I never believe in pruning. And one major reason is I've pruned for decades, thinking I was doing a wonderful thing. I did also notice that every single one of the pruning guides was always telling me a spray schedule where you have to routinely put poisonous chemicals on things. I'm completely against that. And uh, I think the major reason for pruning is to keep the fruit within reach of somebody who doesn't want to use a ladder and so that you can spray them close and not have to have a high pressure sprayer to reach the top branches. Well, I'm not a sprayer. I don't grow crops that need to be sprayed. Now like peaches, for instance, I could grow them in one part of my country very well without spraying, and I always did. And yet, here, where I live now, peaches get a mold on them that even the chemical sprays can't stop. And it stops the fruit from ripening beautifully. And uh, I don't believe in pruning because it opens up the tree trunks, um, it deforms the way the branches want to grow, it destroys the ability the tree has to cope against certain prevailing winds which it learns on its own and man doesn't understand what's out there constantly what the nights feel like all night what the wind feels like constantly blowing on it its entire life the tree knows how to fight that so i leave the tree alone and let it grow on its own this is an apple that was never turned never pruned none of my trees were ever pruned now i see these two posts beside it with one wire that's not to stake the tree that's because the horses like to scratch their bottoms on the tree trunks and this stops them from scratching. They get one little prick from that wire and they say, ouch, I'm not scratching on that anymore. That's why I put those on most of my fruit trees. Until I get a couple of briar vines or some blackberries growing next to them or plant the blackberries myself, I leave those posts there when they're young. Once the blackberries grow, I don't need the posts anymore. Anyway, one thing you're going to hear about is, oh, you have to prune certain trees like peaches or they're not going to bear because they only bear on brand new wood now this is a hundred percent false information i know you read it millions of times just like i have it's not the truth above these horses you'll see a wild peach that came up from just a seed do you see there's blossoms from one tip of that branch all the way to the end that is not brand new wood those branches are four or five years old easy and they have blossoms from the base to the tip and they're in front of the house there. You'll see a, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a peach tree and it's maybe 10 years old and it's never been pruned. And it's got blossoms from the very tip to the very ends of the branch. And those branches are 10 year old branches blooming from end to end. There, peaches do not bloom on brand new wood. Anywhere there's a bloom, there's fruit. And that is 100% the truth. You don't have to prune a peach to get production. I get production. Of course, there is a problem where I live here. I get brown rot and nothing can stop brown rot from peaches here. Not even their chemical sprays. They just, the tree grows wonderfully and gives the bees plenty, but it makes a rotten fruit. By the time the fruit's finished up and ready to ripen, it just spoils. And of course, there's nothing, like I said, nothing that you can spray to do it. We don't have any potential peach orchards here. They've tried and they don't work. And here's a pear, which I get abundant fruit from all my pears. I'm telling you I've got about 75 of these. And I've never pruned them. And I've never had a single bit of problems with them. And I have tons of fruit on all of them. I'm just not into pruning. It doesn't work. If you're not going to spray, and you've got a ladder, and you want lots of fruit, leave the tree alone. A tree gets its fruit because of what it was grafted to. You graft a wild tree to a tree that you know is really good see peaches loaded with blossoms now that over there that great big tree that's a that's a pear tree never pruned it's going to be so chock full of fruit you're not even going to believe it i can fill a pickup load with these see they're full of birds but they've never been pruned and I don't have any trouble with diseases. I've never sprayed. And see, that's a natural shape. And even the pruning books say, uh, you should prune your uh, pear trees to a pyramidal shape. Well, look at that. Isn't that a pyramid anyway, naturally? So what's gonna do? Why do you wanna butcher your trees? 
Why do you want to poison them with chemicals? All you're doing is hurting yourself. Just let them grow. And if a tree doesn't bear good fruit in your area, don't spray and keep it. Plant something that will grow in your area. See, these are both different types of pear trees, and they both have their own different type of form. I wouldn't have known this. I wouldn't have known which way the winds were blowing, which way that they need the strength put up more. The tree knows what to do. It knows where the sunlight is. It reaches for the light. It knows how to grow out in the light. And if it gets a branch shaded, then it'll stop growing that branch because it can't grow in the shade. So let the tree grow in the sun where it wants to grow. Let it find its own sun. Let it prune itself through shading its other branches out. I'm telling you I don't have any trouble with any of my fruit trees. That is the way to go with it. Just leave them alone. Don't prune them.